Feeling like a shark in a shrimp tank. Big fish, small pond in the shrimp. Hello and welcome back to the Shrimp Tank Post Show Video Wrap Up. My name is Lee Heisman with my co-host Chris Hanks, Joey Roos, our student from KSU, and our guest today, Mallory Atkinson, the co-founder and managing partner of Sheer Structural. Mallory had amazing content today. I definitely recommend going back and listening to the show in its entirety. And what's so unique about Sheer Structural, it is a fully woman-owned business. And we talked in the show a little bit, and sometimes you know we have business owners that come on and they take for granted that we all know what they do. And I hear about her, her firm, and I'm like, can you just Describe more to the layman, Mallory, exactly what your firm does and where you're best used. Sure, of course. You know, when I talk to my mom, I usually tell her that we make buildings stand up. But to other people who, you know, we work primarily with architects, and so a lot of people understand what architects do. And so when you think about, um, let's say, like the human body as a building, an architect would design how it looks, short, you know, tall, fat, skinny, and a structural engineer is going to design the skeleton. So it's going to pick, you know, and then going to pick how exactly that skeleton holds up um, is going to pick the material for that skeleton. So that's what a structural engineer does. So obviously for the past few years, we've had a, a lot of economic growth in America and across the world, really. But if we remember back in 2008, there was a huge crisis, specifically kind of within your industry, right? Yes, within yes, construction so. and building. Mm -hmm. So how have you worked to make your company, as you're just getting started, recession-proof should such an event happen again? Well, part of that I think that's really great about our company is that the three of the owners actually lived through that recession. So I think part of it is just experience with what happened the first time. And then also, it is a benefit for us to be women-owned because we actually have certifications from the government, local, state, and federal. That um, so for certain set-aside contracts for the government, we're able to take a you know have a, a portion of that. And another thing I thought was really interesting on the show is when you started talking about your daily rituals, mm -hmm. um, you know, because there's some entrepreneurs who follow a, like a daily routine that um, helps them sort of be very intentional about their pursuit of, of becoming better. So uh, can you elaborate a little bit more on, uh, on your thoughts on having a daily ritual? Sure. I think it's very important to have that daily ritual and, and to really have something to go back to because it can be very stressful as an entrepreneur and sometimes it can be very lonely. And I think if you go back to that daily ritual, of, okay, you know, I'm going to, when I wake up in the morning, I, I read these these certain, you know, blogs or news articles, and I eat breakfast at the certain time, and I make, sh I make sure that I'm reading, sleeping, um, and having the, and, you know, and hanging out with my husband. I'm making sure I'm kind of taking care of my needs um, first, and having that daily ritual is really important. Yeah, and you talked about on the program, you talked about work-life balance. Yes. And as an entrepreneur, we always talk, and I, I use uh, Kelly Kiernan, so an owner of Celtic Testing, uh, that was a guest here and is a very good friend of mine. She coined the phrase, uh, work-life juggle. No. Because you're never exactly balancing, <laughs> but you're juggling it as well. And Mallory, you know, when it comes to engineering, I know a lot of listeners out there want to know, how much do you do and what do you do for sustainability and, and green building? Sure. So there's um, a number, if you've ever heard of LEED, L-E-E-D, Leadership and Engineering Efficiency Design. So we work on a number of LEED projects, certified projects. Also adaptive reuse. So taking a building um, like Ponce City Market, we do a lot of work at Ponce City Market, taking a building that used to be something else and, and convert it and, and reuse that structure. And then also it's this very important to us um, as a company, and, and I even have like a, a lead GA accreditation or certification myself, accreditation myself. So it's very important to us to be sustainable. Well, knowing side. that, there's no question that if you have a project in mind, you want to use Shear Structural. How would people get in touch with you? Yes, of course. So they can go to our website at Shear Structural, S H E A R Structural dot com. They can give us a call at 678 664 8051. Mallory, thank you so much for coming thank on you. the program. I fun. always learn something. I've known Mallory for years, and, and you're always impressive every time you come thank out you to the show. Uh, well, you know, thank you so much for listening. And if you need to use Mallory's services, you know how to get in touch with her. My name is Lee Heisman. My co host, Chris Hanks, Joey Roos. That was the post show video wrap up of The Shrimp Tank. Feeling like a shark in a shrimp tank Big fish, small pond